Okay, so we're starting off on Sunburn, um, which is a thing my head knows a lot about. And uh, Sunburn is a interesting map. We've got the wood line through the center here. We've got uh, berries on both sides of the TC and gold and stone on both sides of the TC. And you do start with three rhinos, but Yo has lamed one of the rhinos from Sato. So he's going to have three under his base with a fourth potential of a fourth one to the south. So a lot of food here from Yo. Yo is playing as Aztecs. Sato was playing as Mayans. Classic matchup too. Yeah. And that is the amazing thing for Mr. Yo right now. Like, if you have four rhinos under your TC and so many berries... You just go FC. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you could, in theory, justify going FC here. But, obviously, we know that Sato is a very aggressive player. He has mm -hmm. shown that against Hera as well in the semifinals. And... I think the problem for, like, pushing FC... Sorry, Jordan. I think the problem for pushing FC here for Sato is you don't know which side. And you can't really cut off both sides. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, in theory, you could... Send arches both directions, but it's going to cost you time. And mm -hmm. of course, the FC player has it so much easier on this map uh, to, to go for FC compared to other maps, that's for sure. But yeah, we see Mr. Yo going up very fast. So no fast castle shenanigans from him at all. Mm -hmm. And Sito also matches the time almost. So both players go up now. And I would expect archer play from both players because i don't see a barrack yet second lumber camp in for monsieur as well so yeah no men at arms from and both players here yeah and men at arms aren't really going to find that much value here right the berries are close yeah. enough to the tc you can just kind of wall them off and then your men at arms are left with nowhere to hit maybe yeah. you could use them to keep control of the golds and the stones at the bottom area but Nice little attempted trap there from Sato getting a little bit cute against the eagle. Yo Didn't simply runs out. away. Yeah. Yeah. No. But the, the effort was there, and that's something we have to acknowledge. I I love like imagining Yo's face when stuff like that happens, because I can just l see the look of disdain. You know, like oh, he's doing he's doing that again. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> have you not learned, Sato? <laughs> like, Yo's entire playstyle is trying to avoid having to do stuff like that. <laughs> he simplifies it so much. You know, Mr. Yo reminds me the most of Doubt. Like, you never he see... Does. He never does plays like that. Both players don't, right? Like, you will not see them quick balling. Like, they win games with their brain. Strategically. Mm -hmm. And not with these uh, small plays here. And, like, the, the older he gets, especially talking to him, the older Yo gets, I think the laser he gets. So it kind of <laughs> reminds me of yeah. Doubt in a way, too. Like, yeah. if he can find any way to simplify his gameplay, he's going to do it. Yeah. He's yeah. going to do it. Exactly. It's more about efficiency, right? Um, Yeah. But Mr. Yo, he's just, like, I played against him a couple of... It was two weeks ago. And, dude, he was on another level than me. Uh, he was just playing so well, outsmarted me mm -hmm. on every direction, and uh, it, it's scary. And now with Sito, uh, you know he's playing extremely well the last weeks, last months, and uh, he definitely has a huge hill to climb here. But I believe that Sito can catch Monsieur off guard with his very aggressive playstyle. Well, we're not series. seeing it here. No, we won't. we're not seeing it here. It's an excellent point. Um, completely wrong in this specific game, but <laughs> excellent point. And Sato goes for the big walls there. He doesn't want to be punished on that gold. And he's already started to kind of wall up in the south. So his production building is in the south. Yeah. Which is interesting. Yeah. And that's also tricky on this map because it is hard to really know where to place the military building, right? And we yeah. end up in the situations where both players are kind of in the opposite about the military buildings, but I like going eagles so much more than going archers because with eagles you have scalability into castle age and uh, can have raiding potential. And with mm -hmm. archers, like it's a little bit harder on this yeah. specific map. Yo also opened with skirmishers here because he thought the aggression was coming from Sato. But he's just going to end up keeping his skirms at home. Sato might try and sneak out with his archers right now. And Yo is actually going to be on that hill ready for him if he shows up there. So great play from Yo. As long as he doesn't queue any more skirmishers, he should be fine. He's queued an archer now. And he will actually find the archers from Sato here with the eagles. Without any upgrades, those eagles will die pretty hard. 
exactly. to archers. Exactly, and Sipo did a beautiful micro as well. He was blocking those eagles. I mean, uh, those feudal eagles, they suck. They're slow. No armor. They, yeah. they don't have anything going for them. It's like you just build them to pose a threat. That's it. Uh, so nice pick off by Sito. And he built a tower? Weird. That's he's weird. Dave, nervous. No? That tells, like, he's got an outpost there too, Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. That surprises That's me. That's just weird, bro. Yeah. I mean, he sees the arch range of Mysterio. Maybe he was thinking, okay, those eagles are by themselves. Maybe he's sending something toward the south side. But, but like, even if you make that tower, your other <laughs> berries are still exposed over on the right side. Yeah. It's so weird. I, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I, I don't really understand that one. I'm glad you're enjoying or joining me uh, with that thought process as well, Dave. And we see Mr. Yo up with the market already. So I don't think we will uh, see him staying in fuel age too much longer. He still has 200 stone in there as he didn't go for the tower. And he will pretty sure sell that very soon as well. <clears throat> well, the tower is up. And Sato doesn't have enough stone to add an extra TC. He can't sell any stone if he goes for a market. Yeah. He's basically committed himself to one TC play for now, anyway. Yep. Unless he wants to go out to stone at a future date. And the archers aren't really able to do anything. Yo will just be out here with the skirms. Pushing those away and tracking them. And Yo will... Well, I was going to say that he'll likely go up first, but he's not using the market. He's not using the market at all. I mean, if he uses it, then for sure he will go. Okay, now, there we go. Now he's utilizing that one. And uh, yeah, Castle Shine is not going to be too far away. But we have to acknowledge the situation of Sito as well. Uh, using the market now as well. And is he going to go up faster than Sito and Mr. here? That could happen. What and he's he really has... using is the cheaper Mayan walls. Yes. Yeah. He goes for more walls back here. And he actually has reached out to Stone. The tower, I guess, was just a stepping stone for the walls. He knew he was going to go out to stone uh, the whole time. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm trying wants, to explain it. I, like, he's trying to play it safe, right? Because Mayans, they will struggle against uh, early aggression from Aztecs. That, that's like that's a given. And therefore, he might have thought, okay, I want to secure the stone anyway because I want to go for plumed archers. Therefore, he places it. I, I can see that logic. And now, with him going so heavily on stone and having access to plumed arches, then I, I don't mind his position too much anymore, Dave. It could also be a situation. And again, we don't... Rico, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Yeah, thank you for the five gifted. Wait, really wait. It, dude. My huge, mute is not working on Discord. I'm huge sorry. Huge gifted. Huge Shit. sub bomb coming in there. Shit. Dave, I apologize. Like... I usually have my hotkey F6 to mute Discord. Yeah, it didn't work, didn't apply. Won't happen yeah. again, Dave, sorry. <laughs> you know, but it yeah. could be a situation where Sato feels like he needs to play defensive because the lame got into his head. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, it's not something we you think about, oh my god, there's a hole through those trees. Oh, oh my god, he's in. What? And he's about to be Castle Age here. There is somehow... A hole through those trees. He's found a pathway through. <laughs> and this is why you should use cube mod, according to uh, Valesa. <laughs> I was even checking when the arches were in front of the forest. And I was like, okay, there's no way there's a hole. And he hits through it anyway. So that was, that was surprising. Yeah, he's but, not only going to get one bill, but he wasn't going to really use those archers anyway, yeah. I think. Yeah. I think it was an okay straight off because... Yeah, he wouldn't have done anything with those archers anyway. And, oh, Mr. O was able to sneak in there with the eagle. Uh, but he and already he had that stone. information. He already had that, right? He didn't He didn't see that uh, Sato was on stone earlier. So, he didn't see that's it, good. He saw no, that's a good piece right? of information. Yeah, but he like he just spotted 11 villagers on stone. That's it's a not lot. just like a mining, you know, it's not just like a mining camp to get a couple extra TCs <laughs> yeah. because you sold your stone. That's a mining camp to get a castle, you know. Look, look at Mr. Yo, like he he thought he had that forest spawned up. Yeah. <laughs> and then scurves go through and he's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> but Dave, I, I didn't see the hole. Did you see the hole before the arches no, went No, 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 no. I, I thought there definitely wasn't a hole there. I thought Yo would have checked on that yeah. wood line. Yeah. 
And I like what Mr. Yo is doing as a response now. Like, okay, you can get your plumed archers, but I will get the economy advantage. And when I have mm -hmm. the solid economy, I will be able to afford um, skirms to just count your plumed archers, right? So he's playing the economy game right now, and I love that. Yeah, the economy game works as long as Sato doesn't get a really good castle somewhere. Oh, are you talking about it, Dave? You're talking about it. <clears throat> Yep, and there's the hill right there. Skirms are coming, though. Yep. And it's one monk and three eagles? One of the eagles being very weak with no armor whatsoever? Yeah. Is Yo gonna spot these units? He spots the eagle. And the eagle is gonna see the skirms, and now he sees a villager. And if he sees the second villager, that will... <laughs> yep, there's the second, third, fourth, fifth. He knows oh. what's coming. What, what's the response now from Mr. Yo? Is it a siege uh, workshop? I mean, he's fine can't... with his skirms right now, right? Oh, this is such oh, a bad castle. That castle, that's terrible, dude. That's so it bad. He cuts off the gold, but he's got plenty of gold in the, nor in the north he can take. Yeah, that's so bad for him. Like, with that castle, he builds the second... Oh, okay, never mind. He has three TCs, but still. Like, you want to place that castle right at the throat there. Yeah. Yo, would, Yo is like disgusted by this castle because he would never settle for a castle like this if, yeah. if yo was in <laughs> joe's position he would have even deleted the one on the hill and put it right up against the tc or something like yeah 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 like that castle there like it doesn't give you any anything nothing. at this point right nothing and now yo is in a position where he can click up to imp and go for a castle of his own and just tread this down for free this this is insane like his economy is so good it's the mm -hmm. three uh, it's the four rhinos if it's the four rhinos. He's got he's got heavy plow. Mm. He's got wheelbarrow already. Yep. Like the eco is flying here for Yo. Sato's mm. eco is not terrible behind it. It's actually yep. pretty good because he added the second TC early. Yep. And Mayans, if we go into super late game, Mayans should be favored over Aztecs. It's just I don't think we're gonna get there. It's it's going to be tough uh, because. As, as you said, Dave, uh, his resources of Mr. Yo are looking very stellar. Uh, it's not going to take him a long time to go up to Imperilage. And while he's going up to Imperilage, he will place a castle at this mm -hmm. hill where Sato wanted to place the castle. You know what? He, mm -hmm. It's Yo. There's always a chance that he doesn't go for the defensive castle and he makes it at the top no instead. Way. Do you think it's so? It's Yo. I, I don't think it's so, Yo. but let's see. I s I said there's a chance. I, I didn't say it's a high chance, but it's at least like it's at least twenty percent. Dave, how wild would it be to see Mr. O dropping a forward castle in the front in the north? That's what I'm saying. I said it's at least twenty percent. Okay, at but least. it would be a wild one, no? Like really not for you. Be very <laughs> not standard. For you, <laughs> <laughs> that's like uh, another day in the office, right? Yeah. And Sato's up to imp somehow. I yeah. looked at his res a couple sec or a couple minutes ago. I didn't think there was any way, but he is yeah. up to imp. Oh, Dave. There it is. Dave, <laughs> see? That's exactly. I know my boy. I said it was 20%, dude, which <laughs> means it's 80%. It's going down here. <laughs> Imagine if Sato had his castle right there. Yo yeah. would have to go for a castle like south of his TC or like left of the mill there just to yeah. tread this back exactly but now he's got a fantastic position yeah. he can set up the trebs to the north of this castle and that in between the castle and the wood line there's no way sato are taking them is taking them out no chance and um, he loses the castle for free exactly uh i mean his in timing is good as well but you know he will lose the trap war there's no way mm -hmm. um it's only about traps right he places a second castle here on his side of the hill though so that gives him more production of trebuchet that's nice but I would like what I'm predicting is that both players will lose their castle that's for sure and then that's kind of a hard situation to be in for both players now because what do you transition into like mm -hmm. skirms is very likely for Mr. Yo but Mr. Sato he could go for eagles like there are so many counter ways to do also notable to to say both players have now guaranteed themselves two relics and with Aztecs that's a little bit of a better situation of course yep uh, I think I don't know yo only has six on stone I would say he's considering going for another castle in the north but mm. still doesn't know about the second castle from Sato still doesn't know he's gonna be out Productioned in terms of trebs. Yep. 
And also Dave, you can see Sitar, he moved away villagers from his farmers. So he's 100% committed onto plume play right now. And mm -hmm. Yo counters that. There is no way we will see any eagle switch anytime soon. So going by just going full skirms, Yo is just guaranteeing himself such a beautiful position. Yep. But Sato is like he is massing into his ideal unit comp, right? If he gets all the upgrades for Plumed Archer, it should be favored. Mayans against Aztecs. The thing and is, Sato with some wonderful yeah. micro here with the plumes taking out the Mangonel. Yep. I mean, that's that's just daily business for Sato, right? He's uh, so good with the in the micro department. Uh, he will be able to move away with the plumed arches as well. Uh, Mizio doesn't have ballistic sets, so that's not going to be a thing. And, and his university got denied. Oh boy. Oh yeah, that's true. That's that's so painful right now. And that castle is going pretty low here. So yeah, it looks very likely that both players will lose their castle here with a lot of trebuchet without, remaining still. Without the university, he can't get masonry. Without the castle, he can't get a ladle for the skirms. And he can't get ballistics for the skirms either. Exactly. So Yo is missing a lot <laughs> yeah, of yeah. texts that are very vital here as he's yeah. going to lose that castle and he's already sunk like three, four hundred stone into repairing that. I mean, the good thing for him is castle of Sato will go down as well. Sato went for masonry though. So, you know, invest a little bit more into that, but I don't think this is ever going to be a bad investment, uh, especially as it is so cheap. And now using those traps as well to uh, kill the plumed arches, like that's that's commitment right there. Wait, Aztecs don't get masonry? No, they I didn't don't. know that. They have the weakest really? buildings. I thought in the Vietnamese game. was the only ones that didn't get it. Vietnamese, Vietnamese don't get, not it, really? get architecture. They don't get one of those. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna lose the traps. Yo, unpacks oh, at the perfect moment. That was a clutch play here. And now there are a lot of skirms forcing the plumed arches to go away here. One trebuchet goes down for Sito, uh, for, for Mr. Yo, so it's two versus four. And the Eagles, they really want to hammer onto that uh, trebuchet. Vietnamese don't get it either. So it's just Aztecs and Vietnamese, I suppose. Vietnamese don't get masonry, really. Anyway, ballistics in for Mr. Yo. And lethal archer armor incoming for him as well. The toy is even forced to build a Magnal. Like, that itself tells you how desperate, it, desperate he is right now. There is no Eagle Switch coming anytime soon for him. Mm -hmm. Good stuff so far from Sato and the castle in the north, Jordan. Castle in the north. I'd love to see him even, like, pack up one of these trebs and send it north. Yeah. Just to get something there, right? Like, do you really yeah. need to take out the trebs from Yo? I Not guess you're holding him in here, but... Mm -hmm. It's not Seems the most important thing. It's not the most important thing. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure this is going to surprise Mr. Yo. He doesn't see it, Dave. He does not see it. And that castle placement is just 10 out of 10. It's a perfect position to push from. Also takes care of the stone. Um, uh, and this is looking stone. rough. Yeah. This is looking rough for Yo. He still doesn't have that ladle. He doesn't even have a... Oh, he does have a castle back there. And he's getting it now. Okay. At last let's go. Castle. Nice. That'll give them one range and one attack, right? Yeah, exactly. And all of a sudden, with that ladle in there, these skirms are going to be so fiercey. And uh, wow. They're going <laughs> to be so what? Fiercey. Isn't that a word? Like so fiercy? powerful. Fiercey? Powerful. <laughs> fiercey? Is that not a word? <laughs> No, fiery is a word. Yeah, I meant that. Fierce is a word. <laughs> like the the uh, adjective of fierce. It's just fierce. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fiercely is is <laughs> like he fought fiercely, right? Yeah. I in my head it made total sense, Steve. I have to I have to confirm. <laughs> okay. It's cool. Second castle, but the Trebs are still alive, and that castle and is a little a bit ambitious from Sato, yeah. and he doesn't have any Trebs of his own in the north. Exactly. I mean, he still has a few stone that he can use to repair, but he doesn't have any stone income right now. 
Eagle switch needs to happen soon for yep. Sato, it feels like. But he doesn't have the eco for it, right? 13 no. on food right now? That's not enough. Yikes. And he's getting the, the armor instead, so he's investing his food into other places. He can't come into raid with the plumes, and he still has a good map position here as Yo gets the eagle upgrade. Yeah. And yeah. Miss oh Yo. my god, Barracks in the south too. Yo's really thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He will get a lot of eagles out very, very soon. Uh, he has the Eagle Warrior upgrade incoming, so Elite is still mm -hmm. a bit away. It's also a very costly upgrade, and plus 4 armor needed as well for that. So he needs around, you know, 1,800 resources roughly to get everything upgraded as well. So it will take some time, but if he's capable of doing that switch, then Sito will lose all these trebuchet, and therefore also the castles will follow. That's such a yo TC north, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it's just something you see every single time he has room to expand. Might be why he hates Arena so much, because there's no room <laughs> <laughs> to hide. <laughs> but as a player, as the Mangonel gets taken up by the Trebs in the south, as a player, yo just loves running away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it feels like from aggression, he will just run and boom somewhere else, and then he'll attack you from that angle later. But that's also the Nomad style, right? Like, on Nomads, yeah. there is never going to be a safe TC. You're just used to migrate all the time, all over the map. Mm -hmm. And that's also one of the many factors of Mr. Yo that make him such oh a great player. Oh my god, dude. Sato only has seven plumes left. Yeah, that's it's like that. He lost the plumes in the north, and Yo is, Yo is taking care of plume numbers with just trash units. Mm. And he's managed to hold now, and he's made the eagle switch way sooner. And his yeah. economy is is looking better than Sato's right now. He has better eco upgrades, less villagers, but better upgrades. And Yo is going to win this game. Yeah. Mr. Yo is winning this one for sure. There's nothing going on for uh, Sato anymore. Like, he has a good economy, yes, but he doesn't have army presence at all. And for us to call the GG, Mr. Yo takes game number one. Yep. So if Sato went for that castle up on the hill, I think it's a different game. If he actually commits to that, yeah. uh, then Yo's pushback is a lot. Oh, well, it's a lot slower if he can push it back at all. And also making an eagle switch, maybe from Sato, getting his farms down earlier. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dave, let's go ahead. We're going to see some scouts. The, uh, Franks I against Hindustanis? So. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I think so. So what's special about this map? I can't remember Canyon. It looks basically like, uh... oh, what's that one that was in Hidden Cups with like the hills on the side and the wood lines? It was not Bay, right? No, Bay was a different one. Ravine, uh, was it? Huh? I can't remember. Might have been Ravine. I can't remember. I can't remember. Anyway, it looks like that. Fairly open in the center. We got some gold. We got some stones scattered around. Slopes. That Slopes. was it. Yeah, yeah. So, literally, it looks like Arabia with the simple change that on the sides you have those slopes, right? Mm -hmm. So, anyway, for Mr. Yo, we have Franks here playing in the blue trunks. And on the other side, Zeta playing as Hindustanis in the red trunks. And both players going very greedy as well, pushing in the deer. It's kind of the meta nowadays on the pro yeah. level because getting in those deer is just extra food which just helps you to improve your economy and it's so much about optimization already at uh, yeah. the highest level so it's kind of a, a must I would say. Uh, especially if you can anticipate what your opponent will go for and if you see Franks or Hindustanis you will see okay scouts most likely. Well, it's like escalation, right? If your opponent's going for 18 villager or 17 villager up into scouts, mm -hmm. and they're going to have those on the field, you have to push the deer so you can get up with a similar timing. Exactly. And produce. Yeah. Like, if you don't, and you're busy scouting their forward base, you might get some extra information out of that. But then that means you're going to have the wall, and it's just like a cascading. Yeah. <laughs> There's issue after issue with that. Exactly. Yep. Um, Missio? He will go up with 18 villagers, so very, very fast. And yeah, Sato will, Sato will do the same thing. Exactly. Yeah. So, man, look <laughs> look north of Yo's base. There's a perfect TC spot up there in the north. Whoa. 
it's isn't that, for, isn't that yeah, wonderful? That, wow, that that's really amazing. Like, did he find that? I, I did. He like, did. I'm amazed, Dave, by the fact that you pay attention to the detail. I always look in the corners. I like figuring out which my which corner is my favorite corner, and that's my favorite <laughs> corner here. I think. Okay. Well, the other ones which are not is as your beautiful. favorite corner. I don't like. I would go I don't for the, mind one in the, the south. bottom corner. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would go that, for the that south. That's fine. Yeah, but yours is the better. right corner's. Yeah, the right corner is trying too hard, and the left corner just needs a little <laughs> bit of grooming. Trying too hard. Uh, can you define yeah. what you mean with trying too hard? It's just, it's just a little sweat lord, dude. It's got a rock there. It's trying to pretend like there's stone, but there's none, no stone. <laughs> it's trying to like have a TC spot, but you can't even really fit in a TC beside that gold. It's just, it's trying too hard. I love it. Yeah. Okay. I, now that you have explained it, I uh, would agree with you. Hey, understand. Hundred yeah. percent. And the left one, it has a rock like ages away from it right like that one no, is, it's like it was, it was trying but it failed completely <clears throat> that's how i would describe it it's like the nerdy girl in a movie right she just needs a little makeover but then the guy will notice her <laughs> you just need to chop a little bit of the wood <laughs> maybe it's a bad reference but i don't know i like the reference <laughs> uh people are enjoying that so that that's good that's good no, Dave, we see stable opening by Mysterio. Believe it or not. Okay. Why is he I'm up so much I'm believing it. Faster? I don't know. They both went up 18 villagers there. It's weird. Yeah. Did Sato like... I, I don't understand I actually that. don't understand because he has less idle time as well. <laughs> exactly. And Loom Does has... Does one of them research. not have Loom? M maybe Loom was researched... No. Maybe a village was he created. Cancel, and it, did canceled. he cancel Feudal Age by accident? Or he canceled the villager and therefore it doesn't, it doesn't show in the idle TC time. I think that could be an explanation, right? Do you understand? Yeah. What I mean? Okay. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. Sato went 19 villagers. Uh, no, he did not. No, he didn't. He did actually. He did go 19 villagers. So he got a villager after Loom. They were right. Chat was oh, actually right. Okay. Amazing. No, that we were it. so used to clicking up after Loom that we didn't see him queue an extra vill. No, no. Yeah. Uh, villager engages here against the scout. I don't like that engagement. Uh, Mr. Yo will lose the villager for sure here. Nice pick off by Sito. Denying the walls a little bit and. Uh, Dave, Sitar is going for a huge... Will Mr. Yo egg. lose the villager? Oh, he does! No, that sucks. I gotta speed up, I think. I was behind. Yeah, you're a little bit behind there. By the looks of it. Um, he's going for a huge egg wall. Like, that is a perfect egg in my eyes. No, no, it's a little flat on the top. Yeah... Maybe he was that it one was as a, well. If it was a perfect, no, a perfect egg, the meg, the mega egg, is when you wall on all sides. Have this you done one's that? like, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I try to avoid doing that, mm -hmm. but like, let's say MBL does it, right? Yeah. Where he just walls. Yeah. Perfect egg. MBL is literally that, that kind of person who made that egg wall famous, I would claim. Mm hmm. The funny thing about him is he also made the four minute full wall half the map famous. <laughs> so, well, and like, Emil could do that too. And just goes up into economy upgrades and then yeah. defend from all the incoming aggression and then come out ahead. That That's Forward MBL. Beach. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. He's yeah, playing yeah. well anyway. Huh? Let's he's? See. Anyway, I said when he's playing his game. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he will get there very, very soon again uh, when he is full time. Do you, do you think he reaches top five again if he's full time? Um, he's going to need to. I think the thing is, he's going to need to at some point commit to the idea of being a top player, which I think right now he's just kind of, even if he goes full time, I don't think he's going to do it instantly. Right now, he's just kind of in that area where he's still hoping for results, but when he loses, he can use having a full-time job as, like, an excuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<clears throat> um, and I and I just hope that when he goes full time, he's not going to do that, <laughs> and he's actually going to like want to be a top top player. Yep, yep. That's the question, right? Like, of course, on one side, you have more time towards yourself if you don't have the full time job, but on the other side, there's more pressure, though. There is more pressure, exactly, yeah. and. I mean, MBL, I think, can handle pressure very well, but it's definitely something which impacts you, for sure. Like, if you have to play qualifiers, and you're full-time, and other players might not be full-time, then you're, like, having a lot of pressure, because you know exactly, if you're losing, then that's devastating. Mm -hmm. Dude, this, like, full wall into scouts that we see on a lot of these open maps nowadays is more boring to me than, like, arena openings. <laughs> Dave, are so you dull. not entertained right now? Not by this, no. I, I was like, I picked this map because it's open and we will see full aggression. Open maps are just full wall now, dude. Unless you, the only no. way open maps aren't full wall is if the TCs start closer together. And then it just becomes trolly. Either that or if there are rocks and like rock terrain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which and there is a little bit of. Yeah. Right? I think we need more maps like that, like Land Madness, uh, what is the always uh, famous one, like Acropolis, that's also one which is invites the aggression, right? Mm -hmm. These are the maps which makes it really hard to wall. It's double range here from Yo as Franks. You have to, right? Like, you cannot play yeah. uh, stable against Hindustani, so... You can play, you can play monks, though. If you play Monk Knight, you can do it. Oh, monk can... Knight and then into Pikeman. That would I also think you be have to go crossbow. I think both options are viable. I'm just He's thinking. Pushing it's... Sato away from the gold, which is fantastic. Does Sato yeah. have any other gold options? Only on the left. It's only on the left, yeah. Th these archers, like these two archers, they have accomplished so much already. Just by mm -hmm. this little harassment, because he doesn't have access to gold now anymore. That's just beautiful play for uh, Mr. Yo. And see, Dave, that's why you go for archers. No, I, I, I don't have a problem with the archers added in <laughs> early. I'm just thinking about the second range. Yeah. <laughs> Do you really want to find yourself in this situation where you're mm. forced into, like, double range Frank crossbows? It's not it, really playing into your Civ strengths later on, yeah. right? It, it feels odd. It feels definitely odd. Sure. I guess you do have this stable already, so you can add in knights when you want to, as the scout's yeah. now trying to take a good battle. Sato already with bloodlines, already with the armor, so he can take out those archers if he wants to. There's one spearman. For the tasty. That one is obviously a very nice, nice thing, but still, I think he should still be able to get the units away from his base. Yeah, he is going to mm -hmm. kill everything. And Mistyo, he sees the TC, and by the way, I love that TC by Sito. That one is very nice. We'll guarantee him some gold income again. <clears throat> but now I would say, Mistyo, what? Look at I mean, the it's TC. Not, it, it's a Tetris TC, bro. Is that TC he better fit than it the right one? in there? Yeah, but that, that's, the that's one a in four the liner. The one at the top is better, right? Yours. Boom, Tetris Rio. Crazy. And Sita has a TC very close by. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't think he could fit one in there. That corner is not trying so hard anymore. I thought the rocky <laughs> terrain extended up there, but apparently not. <laughs> oh. That's that's problematic now because Sito has access to gold now and Monsieur does he even know about that? No, he has not even scouted it. Like he, like <clears throat> he doesn't even have the thought crossing his mind right now that this could be a thing to place a TC there. I think he's on, his scout is on auto scout though, so it might end up going over mm -hmm. there. It's in the left side right now, but you never yeah. know where this thing decides to go. <laughs> yeah, you know, you don't know. You don't Could know. run right into Sato's base, it's probably going to do that. Yeah. Like, ooh, dark tiles in the farms? Ooh. Let's take that. Let's take a look. <clears throat> the thing now with Mr. Yo's approach by going crossbow is they most likely will not achieve too much because he is out very soon for Sito and he's just fine booming three TCs he will pull he ahead in terms him of though. economy sorry yeah he, he can he hold him in there's already there's already <laughs> idle time from Sato and Yo is already TCing a stone so if Yo yep. holds this map control he can get a forward castle that would be beautiful that sure. bill's dead 
scorpion and, and the, the scorpion villagers. Stand too. Good micro so far from Yo. Good positioning. Nothing fancy, just enough. And there's the siege workshop. Yep. Typical Yo maneuver, right? He gets the second and third TC up first, and then he goes for the siege workshop. Yep. He doesn't yep. go for it first. Tita spotted though, so you know he's aware of it, and this most likely will be a little bit of a mangonel micro battle, where in general. <clears throat> Sito, I would say, is slightly favored because he's a little bit of a nerd if it's about the micro in general. Mr. Yo is not known to be the strongest micro player, uh, but obviously uh, should, should always be it. defender's advantage as well. Okay, what? He he can definitely like do yes. it. He can yes, micro. Yes. It's just <clears throat> he's chosen, uh, you know, options that suit his play style better. Yep. yep. Just like he'd rather spend his time thinking about the game or expanding his control than microing. Yeah. And Sito even adds a second siege workshop there. Second one. That's something we rarely see. It's just such a difficult position to put him for him to push out from, right? Mm -hmm. He has to hope for a big shot, which he just got. That's a nice shot against the crossbows. Yeah. And then he's gonna have to deal with the siege from Yo, and Yo is wisely going for an outpost here. Very, very yeah. smart. Yeah. And then he is going to have to add some military so when his mangonels come across the map, if he wants to pressure Yo, they're not going to be completely exposed. Yeah. Nice shot, though. That is so far beautiful defense by Sito. And currently he has a villager lead, yes, but he doesn't have heavy plow and no wheelbarrow for him as well. So overall, economy should be very, very equal. Um, obviously. Uh, Hindustanis should be favorized if we're going the late game, but so far favorized? everything is. Isn't that a... come on favorized? Is that wrong again? <laughs> really? Dude, I love it. I'm just expanding my. Uh, I'm expanding my dictionary here. Is isn't that a word? Favorized. I've you been just using got that... favorized. <laughs> <laughs> I've been using that one for such a long time. No one corrected me. It's favored. It should really? be favored. Yeah, oh, I know. Wait. It's it's more boring. Keep using favorized. Keep using it. Keep using fiercey, favorized, <laughs> disco pantsy. <laughs> All of them. But they five mangonels for Sato. Yeah. What the hell? He is five mangonels. At this point, you just delete the the palisade walls, right? Give yourself some more room. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Like they're hurting you more than they're helping you. <laughs> yeah, that's something. I think I've never seen that. I maybe once. Maybe once. But like it's hard auto to scout. push now. He made it. Jordan Auto Scout made it. He made it over to the right side. He's gonna find the TC. He will. And Yo is going with a castle, and there's a perfect right hill right there under that TC oh, to put the castle down on. Yeah. He's this waiting. is just he's waiting. He's waiting for the stone. No, he's going to the front side. He sees Yo, the TC. You know you want to put it on that hill. You know he is waiting for the stone. There it is. But he didn't put it onto the stone directly, right? And Sito, he's heavy on stone as well. He sees the castle, but of course, still, still far away from placing and uh, those his own castle. And those villagers can't escape unless they go up to the TC in the, to yeah. the right. Yeah. Oh, he's escaping now when the archers are taking a break. This is this is very dangerous now for Sito because he doesn't have any answer to what is happening right now on the right hand side. And the mangonels, they are not used to uh, known to be the the fastest one. All of the villagers going to the right. We're gonna have 21 villagers over there, waiting to die. Yep. I mean, that TC on the right hand side, and all of a sudden, has become so much more important for Sito. Because Such there's... a target now. Yeah. yeah. So many villages. But look at that. Oh. That's kind of the Huang train for me personally. Yep. One Axeman versus five Mangonels. Who will win? <laughs> the Mangonels this time. But the next Axeman is coming in. Who's going to win? Five Mangonels or one Axeman? Oh, man. I... Find out next time on the third Axeman coming in. No, he's cancelled. He was cancelled. Another castle forward for Mr. Yo. This time on the farm eco and the mangonels are wildly out of position because they needed to defend the TC on the right. Thank you, Auto Scout, for this all that is, you've done. This is so, so rough for Sito. He likes to be in Mr. Yo's position often, right? He's kind of known 
to place a lot of castles in Castle Age onto his opponent. And now yo, he's don't on go the reverse with crossbows. Huh? Ooh, yo, <laughs> I was thinking Yo would walk in between the castle and the water. Uh, yeah, yeah. With the crossbows, he doesn't get shot though, and the castle's up, and now the Mangonos yeah. feel very useless for Sato, and he's gonna have to go for his own castle and click up to him. Both players up to him privilege. Sato will finish that castle most likely. I mean, it will be delayed, yes, but it does not really have an impact because most important for Sato, get that castle up before him privilege. Mm -hmm to produce trebuchets. Yo will need another castle. Uh, he can't really drop the TC to the right. Maybe he could put one near the relic there. He could choose to put it on the wood line, but I think if you see the castle from Sato, you know he's likely up, and I think your castle needs to go beside your one at the front. Yeah. For more trebs. Oh, the Mega does what? Okay, Next one shot. for one. <clears throat> I thought he would kill all three there. That would... That would have been a uh, yo move because I think he did that once against Tado, right? On four lakes where he converted one Mangonel and killed three Mangonels with one shot. Yep. That was... I remember that game. This is Titans was... League, I think. Yeah. Maybe. I think it was Warlords, like right? Oh, maybe Warlords. Yeah. And the castle goes to the right for yo. So it doesn't go beside this one. So that means he'll lose the one at the front. Yeah. But the I one saw on your the right clip. Inside. I saw your clip of yo converting your Mangonel <clears throat> and it shooting the crossbows. Yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> I love the face that you made. <laughs> that was so such relatable. A, that was so disastrous, man. Like everything Is went. Is he going to lose this? I, I think no. Wait, like 80%? No, he's retreating. Mangonels went back from Sato. Mangonels yeah, went yeah, back. Yeah. Oh, I, I feel like he could have denied that. I don't know. It would have been close either way. Yeah, it would have been a very, very close one for sure. Two camels on the top, raiding a little bit, but uh, there is a monk there, so these are not going to achieve too much here. And now we have three castles versus one. Like, okay, there's no, a second two. one. I love that one. I love that. That that one's really good, because yeah. you have to save this position somehow. There's 33 mm. villagers up here. It's yeah. literally 33% of your eco exactly. <laughs> right now. Yeah, it's insane. So many villagers, 34. Hallelujah. Um, it is very likely that we will see four castles being lost here. <laughs> Two for each player, right? And we see chemistry Camel. coming. Yep. Yeah. Chemistry. Camel chemistry here from Yo. So Yo is thinking, <laughs> definitely thinking bomber cannons. Is he thinking hand cannons as well? Or is it just do Axemen accomplish the same thing that hand cannons do for you? I, I think Axemen... Uh, he also went for, uh, how's that called again? Bearded Axe? No, the what? Arson, what? Arson, Arson, yeah. Oh, but Arson, okay. Th that's kind of an indicator that he wants to focus yeah. on uh, the, the Axeman. And I love what Mr. Yo is doing. Like, he is ignoring the left-hand side mm -hmm. castle and fully focuses the trebuchet production on the right-hand side because he knows, okay, there's so many villagers isolated here. If that castle goes down, and all of a sudden, all these villagers are prayed for me. And Sato needs a hard commit, which means he's gonna need to start buying stone soon. Oh boy. Yeah, that's And rough. a good percentage of his gold income is coming from the north there too, and there's not too much gold left on that. Yeah. Oh jeez, it's gonna be really, really <laughs> rough here. Yeah. Ooh, Dave, I think we will see a lot of villagers losing their lives pretty pretty soon like he's committing with 26 villagers right now to repairing and look at the, how fast the stone goes down that's insane there's no gold to buy stone anymore you're gonna have to sell wood and sell food and the, and this is a vicious cycle that you get yeah. stuck into because you want to start massing up military in other places but yeah. you spend all of your wood all of your food to sell to buy more stone to repair yeah. a castle yeah and yeah castle and goes down, down. Castle goes down for Sito, uh, for for Mr. Yo as well, but you know he can he can afford losing that castle. It's not the most important thing for him. And now Habit here even coming in. I mean, there's a raid going on left hand side from yep, Sito losing a lot of villagers, Mr. Yo. But still, he's in a decent position here, and the trebuchet might kill the BBC here. No, never mind. Still not. Axemen trying to deal with the camels. The Axemen aren't really that upgraded though. And that means that the camels are gonna win this engagement and Yo needs to back away. And Sato has managed to save 
32 of these villagers. We thought they were dead. Jordan, the castle did go down, but apparently he bought himself enough time. He needs to escape now, it feels like. Yeah. There's no gold up there anymore. Escape, he, please. He has, he has to run. Like, Habadiers are incoming. You have to run. Yep. You don't have any counter to them right now. He doesn't even have chemistry for, as, as far as I know. So, Hand Cannoneer is not going to be an option right now. And... Ulam could be. I guess mm -hmm. he has a castle, but yeah. no upgrades on those. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we have the situation that three castles have gone down overall. They are very similar in terms of population. However, I like the positioning of Mystio so much more. And yep. uh, with the Halberdiers, it feels like he has the perfect counter to what Sitoro uh, is building right now. It's such a cozy corner up in the north there. <laughs> it's so cozy, isn't it? Uh, and he's also there. got Halbs on the on the gold to the left too. So he knows Sitoro isn't out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, Camel's missing the villagers mining gold on the left-hand side. That's a mm -hmm. little bit unfortunate for Sito. Fortunate for Mistio. And... Yeah, chemistry incoming. That is so important for Sito right now. And I'm a little bit surprised by the fact that it comes in so late. Because you need those hand cannoneers so, so quick right now for him. Yeah, but he's not going to have any food for them. He finally has gold yeah. access again. Yep. And... You know, he's got a couple gold piles here, but he's going to be kicked off all these farms as the Trebs come in. We'll need yep. to place those again. And you need food for hand cannons. Yep. And now those four Trebuchet are also sieging against the castle. And we talked about the stone income for Stah. There's not too many. There's none. <laughs> There's none, yeah. But oh, Dave, look at the four on the Trebuchet. Move on the left. What, what no. happened? Oh, I missed that. Look, from those four trebuchet, only two are actually firing. Because they're the other one... Oh, no, because the other ones are hiding behind. I thought they were unpacked inside of each other. There we go. He unpacks oh, them now. Yeah, but I don't think he can reach the castle there. Yeah, he cannot. <laughs> <laughs> they're confused. They're very confused. They don't know what to do. And he, <laughs> now he has to unpack all four of them. The bomber cannon does go down to the camels, but look at Yo's resources. He could even go yeah. paladin if he wants yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. That's an insane position. And now, just go for paladin halberdier combination as Frank, the Frank player. And Indostanis will really struggle against that. At this got stage. Got a douche situation. The left side. Yo goes for a TC. The camels did end up finding the gold. Oh, nice. Uh, as Satoa still continues to try and expand mm. he is losing his farming economy though and needs to replace that still not going for any more farms so his food eco is going to be in shambles for a while yeah that's just rough for him right Chivalry, now Chivalry, cavalier armor it's going to be paladin it's going to be paladin and uh bbc takes the shot from the trebuchet man is there a more satisfying feeling than or a trebuchet it's like it's insane yeah i think frustrating it depends on because which I'm thinking viewer. of the person exactly. Yeah. It depends yeah. who you are. <laughs> you know what's the best thing? If you see your BBC is targeted by the trebuchet, you move away and then it hits you it anyway. It still hits. <laughs> yeah, it still hits. <laughs> oh, it's so frustrating. Yeah, Paladin. Well, like, look now. at the overall population: 165 versus 110. Tita realizes that there is nothing he can do anymore win this game and this calls it resigns auto scout i give my mvp to auto scout if if auto scout didn't come over to the right side yo never would have seen that tc or the other tc up on the edge and he, his first castle would have been forward and i think sato has a chance with the manganels to deal with that or push him away yeah but instead auto scout finds the tc yo castles that tc and then pushes to the right and sato has to respond has to. Exactly. And all of a sudden, he's in such a bad position, right? Just because of that. Alright, so what is this map? Four Peaks. I, I see why it's named as such. We got the ice to the north and to the... That's not ice. That's something else. And then we have uh, sand to the right and rock to the left. Ice, sand, rock, and... What, what is that? Marsh. Marsh? It's fungus. I've it's never mold. heard fungus. Oh, 
Look at their TCs. Oh no, restart, restart. It's a restart. It's a restart, yeah. It's a restart. Yeah. They have restarted. They have restarted. <laughs> what are the odds that they place? I want to see the reaction when it goes up. Yeah. Like, what uh... are the odds, man? I'll switch that. TC war. Okay, cool. So, I haven't seen this map before. So, it looks like you dock the center. Both players have docked. Standard kind of nomad start. And then they're looking for good places to put their TC. And it's probably going to be on a wood line and the gold. Yeah. And that should be good. Ideally. Okay. Ideally. Usually, you go for the wood, right? Uh, gold will not be too far away from the forest as well. As uh, gold is scattered around all over the map. But <clears throat> the funny thing is, should we re to see war? One well, player was Persian, <laughs> so <laughs> it makes sense, right? It makes sense. Yeah, but I, I have to completely luck based it's where luck you based? put your TC. Yeah. yeah. And also, interestingly enough, like Mysterio is asking that question, right? Even though he's not Persian. So he knows if his opponent is saying no, he would continue. It's like, okay, mm -hmm. whatever. I love that. Um, also, I have never seen a TC war on this map because usually both players spawn on opposite sides. So ah. interesting to see that as well. Nilly said no days off. Well, I already know that, Nilly. Thank you. He's just reminding us, Stuart. No fun is <laughs> You came here for work. No fun. <laughs> but you know, the ostrich is hiding in the berry bush. What? I've never seen that. They did. It's really? literally inside the berry. Do you see it? No, I have closed already. Left side. I'm no. I'm in the new game. It's in the bush. Have they started already? Yeah. Oh, now it's not in the bush anymore. You missed it. You missed it, bro. You missed Wait, it. Wait, they they have started already. What the hell, bro? You missed it. We were too. I was David Attenborough there for a second. Crazy. And you missed it. Where where was it? Is it like left on side, left side near the oh. near the left hill? Off the top? At the at the left of the map. Bro. Ah. There's no... okay. Oh, it's hiding in the bush. Like they, I I'm gonna be honest. No! I didn't have my overlay on. I didn't have. I didn't. I had my wrong. Or, fuck. Oh. <clears throat> we'll go back for it. We'll go back for it, chat. We'll go yeah. back for it. But if I have to ask you honestly now, like me personally, I've casted a lot of games. Um, I would have never looked at that corner. Never. Why do you look there? Like, because is, we. Is... My vision started there. Like Thank previous you. game, you also talked about corners. I feel like you're mainly focusing on corners, don't you? I have like ADHD, kind of. Okay. I I can't like just look at two docks looking at each other and a fishing ship and a villager, without you know, going around the map somewhere else. It's really tough for me when I'm spectating. I don't mind casting, but like it took me a long time to get used to actually having people watch my point of view, mm -hmm. because it's tough, right? Like yeah. I, and I really make an effort as Sato brings in two rhinos here. Guess he is thinking Yo might come out for one of those. Um, he... It's really really tough to not pull like a T ninety and just start clicking literally everything. Like oh, a wood line over here, a stone over here, a TC <laughs> villagers. You know, is that something T ninety is uh, known to? Oh, do? dude. Once you know, once you notice it, then you go back and watch his his point of view. Oh man! If there is a berry <laughs> bush in front of him, he's gonna click it fifteen times. <laughs> really? Hundred okay. percent. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, anyway, Sito going for the rhinos very early, and he's not even eating them. Like he just wants them in there, just so he knows that uh, Mister cannot take that. You know, okay. Dave, I personally <clears throat> love high competition Age of Empires 2. Like, I watch, I love watching it. And now with Millie's Apartment Cup, we mm -hmm. will see so many great sets. Like, so many great sets. And there's going to be so much content. I will watch every single game. I think it's really, and I hope you do, because I love sitting on the couch and watching games of players and talking about it and stuff. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really, really fun atmosphere. But, like... 
It's going to be so hard for NAC to compete with TGM. I know not as many people watch TGM as they are going to be watching NAC, but that was so high level. That was incredible. Uh, the games we got there. So I hope that NAC yeah. can yeah. be the same level. TGM was the most competitive tournament. The most competitive thinking, tournament I've ever seen. Yeah. If we're thinking about main stage, <clears throat> yeah. it, was, it was insane. And every set went to the decider, except two sets, I think, right? Vilesa and... Uh, no. No, oh, ACCM oh, and ACCM Viper, Viper, and then... Uh, uh, Hera Tato. Yeah. yeah. But that was just so, so close. Um, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of very, very close sets as well in NAC. So it should be a very good one. Anyway, Tato. Oh my god, blue. dude. Yo, yeah. look, look at Yo's point of view. He can't see Satos TC. He sees that the Rhinos are gone. Oh god. He has, he has no vision, dude. Oh god. Doesn't even know that wood line is there. He doesn't see anything. Nothing. The gold, <laughs> the wood, nothing. <clears throat> but the thing is, Mistyo even adds a fourth fishing boat. That kind of is an indicator to me that he wants to go play fast castle, no? No, never mind. He will go up now. He will be so much later than Sito. He will lose yep. the water, that's for sure. He does have a wonderful mining camp, though. He's going to be able to take gold and stone from that. <laughs> yep. So he can shift back and forth if he needs uh, stone for towers and defense. Sito, already on the way up, letting that 200 food from the Rhino just kind of rot under his TC because he needs full wood and gold to take control of the pond. Yep. And his docks will be producing faster with the Persians, and they will have more HP. So it's yeah. gonna be really tough for you to win this water fight. It's no just chance. not happening. No chance. No chance. Like I don't think. Out the house. I don't think that Monsieur will even bother building a second dock here. Like, no chance. Look at that. Sito up with 14 villages. That's absolutely insane. That's super, super, super fast. <clears throat> He's housed, or he was going to be housed, but he builds a couple more houses and he's fine. Yep. And now he immediately goes for fire galleys and Yo is a minute away. Like, you, all you can do is be annoying on the water. Exactly. You're never going to win. You're never going to win here. You you build demos here in uh, Miss Yo's position and just try to uh, get some nice demo shots on the fishing, sh oh. uh, ship fishing boat. Yo, Love he that. walls in the villager. He walls in the villager and he's getting... You should be ready to place a palisade if you're... Yo... Oh, yeah, 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 he deleted the outpost. Yeah, yeah, that was a good okay. move by Sito. I love that move by Sito, right? Because it looked like he walked over the outpost before he deleted it. Yeah, yeah. It looked like Yo deleted thing. his palace site. Yeah. The Yo is going land pressure. Yeah. And he just goes for one demo to try and clear up the fish. Yeah, I love that. That's exactly the way you have to play it. And Dave, I think we will see a lot of villager fighting. A lot of them. Can you can you justify a douche here if you're Sato? Uh, I don't think Because so. you have the water, you're going to have the fish. I don't think you can. Okay. It would be Just too saying. late here. Would it, though? If you win water and you have the fish? Oh, Sato might lose the fish. Oh, he, he's he only going to get one. Nice yeah. split. Yeah. Nice split yeah. there. Yeah. Well done. That's always the like the toughest part of you know you win water you fight on land and then you also have to um, watch out for your fishing boats. It's like super super mm -hmm. tough here, and I love Mr. Yo's tower here. <laughs> we'll be able to get access to the wood line, and uh, Sito has no idea. I think a douche would have been the game winning move there. Really think it would have put it, put Yo out of contention, but it's hard to like justify going for it. Yeah. Another demo incoming, and he sees it, but Sito is not reacting. Oh, he does now. He saves one fish, he so at least it. Yo is investing a ton. Yeah. For just like one fishing ship at a time, but yeah. But he's forcing. He does have a tower now, mm -hmm. and Sito will have to go to a different wood line. Yeah. He has one in the back as well. He will be able to build an arch range very soon. Um, just 40 wood missing. But overall, the initiation, would say, is in Yo's favor. He will get arches out now. 
He doesn't have too much on gold. Like, he invests a lot into food on land right now. While being annoying with the demo, with the, uh, you know, with the demo there. Mm -hmm. He's made three demos and he's gotten three fishing ships with his demos. Surely it's not worth it, but at least you're keeping them distracted. Yeah. I like the fact that he's killing the ostrich here too. I love it. <laughs> I really I like that. It. It's clever. Yeah. And now if you take a look at the food count. The tall three, while Mr. O has 12 on food. Like that, that's such a biggie. Another fishing ship goes down. Yeah. Crazy. Sito is not really capable of fishing, right? And look at the TC idle time right now. That's insane. He oh my god. And, and Jordan, there's another tower in the back yeah. from Yo. He snuck another villager over there. Sito will see this. Yeah. And he's going to be able to deal with it with villagers of his own. But he's got four vills still chasing the archer. And Yo is killing more ostrich. Oh no. It's going to be so tough for Sito to get that food income rolling. You keep talking about it. Yeah. Three more ostriches killed. He's still chasing after that villager. And it's still only two fishing ships. Yep. This is looking better and better for Mistio. Of course, fishing should be going on now for Sito. As he has a lot on wood, he should be able to get some in. But uh, yeah, overall the farm economy or the, the overall food economy seems so much better for Mistio here. Mm -hmm. Like, Sito is really I think struggling. you could actually, you know what you could do? What could he do? He could use the archer to pull in the elephant, and the archer is just as fast as the elephant. Yeah. And he can lure it back to his TC, and the elephant will never hit it. Yeah. Same speed. That but would be I, a... I, oh, Sito oh! is trying to take the boar oh. in the north. No, I was just about to say oh. Sito could do the same thing. Oh. That's that's a moment where we realize, okay, there is a lot of things happening at the moment right yep. now. Yep. Yep. And he's actually yep. building a stable. Like Sito. There's no way he has the food for that. Well, he's gonna try. He's gonna try. And you know what? He will have decent enough food income now with five fishing ships. And if he allocates some more vills to this boar that he's bringing in right now, maybe he can get some scouts on the field and find an opportunity. Dave. He builds the stable, so the outpost spots it. Yikes. Mr. Yo, of course, with Town Watch. Yes. On Nomad, you it's go an, for Town Watch. It's That's necessary. A That's a must. Yeah. Yeah. And Sato even going for stone? What? He's trying to do too many things at once, I feel like. I mean, he has a good economy lead right now. But he yeah, could. He's kind of reacting. He could prevent the tower right now. Maybe. I mean, he does have his scout coming in, right? That's going to push Hello, the skirms away. And there we go. There's nice a forward tower from Sato. Live. On the stone, on the gold here from Mr. Yo. And he's got the scouts to keep the skirmishers at bay. Yep. And it's going to be double tower for Yo. So we'll go for that one first and then try it and finish the first one. Oh, this is so crucial Difficult. right now. So crucial. Like the, the scouts of Sito are not going to accomplish anything because they are eating the TC fire. Uh, the archers are doing a good job here. Uh, the tower will go up. There is no question about it. And Sito will struggle to keep his tower alive, I think. And he just puts the archers inside and runs away with the vills. It's probably smart. And now he has to run with the archers because yeah. Yo's coming with the skirmishers. Lithuanian skirmishers there too. A little bit faster and he completes the second tower soon. There was an archer in the back of Sato's base at the same time, so he had to go back and deal with that. He killed two villagers though. That's a very nice value for him. Uh, but yeah, Mr. Yo is able to defend that aggression and Overall, Mr. Yo's or both players' economy doesn't look too shabby here. So I, I think mean, both players will be able to go up to Castle Age in a moment. Sato's ego looks really good, dude. Like he's recovered. Yeah. That's bought him yeah. some time. Yeah. He's got 39 villagers against 33, and he has the five fishing ships. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look too bad for him anymore, does it? Like if you take a look at the economy overall. Yep. Yeah, and he's uh, already got the stable to make knights right away in exactly. Castle Age, so... Exactly. I think Sato's favorite so Sato here, for sure. Has, has a good position here, and all of a sudden. Going he up to go, Castle Age now. 
He should go elephants. <laughs> elephants? Yeah. <laughs> You're one monk away <laughs> from giving your opponent a super good unit. <laughs> mm. Look at the stone he has. He will go for a castle drop. Yep. Into elephants. <laughs> he has heard your wishes, Dave. He definitely has heard your wishes. If only you could fit an elephant in a siege tower, then they would actually be good. Have you suggested that to the devs? No. It would have to be like a, a siege truck <laughs> to fit an <laughs> elephant in there. Good old siege truck. Mm -hmm. um, in both armies miss each other and that's okay, a very so good sign for Sato. If you're Sato, do you wait for Castle Age to come in for these archers or are you just heading in? No, you're just heading in because you don't want to have any upgrades on them any further in Castle Age anyway. Okay. So you just, you know. And you yeah. obviously get right in close to this wood line. Good recognition from Yo. Mm -hmm. Realizing the army's coming in right away and Sato, please get that villager. There we go. He gets the vill. He doesn't see the vills to the south. He doesn't know anything about that, so he's yeah. just going to wander around in the north here. Look for damage. Yeah, Sato has not even scouted that area right, so there's no way he will just randomly go that direction. And overall, castle will be placed. No, never mind. He doesn't have the stone for that. I, th I was sure he would go for a castle drop, but not... Uh, Went for a second TC like and that. I... I think he sold stone? Did he? No, really? he didn't. No, he didn't. He just stopped collecting. Yep. The... So now he has 463 stone burning a hole in his pocket. Yeah, that's that's obviously a yikes moment, isn't it? And if you want to buy, you're going to have to buy 200 to get... I think it's worth it to buy 200 to get the castle. It's better than having... 463 you're doing nothing with. Oh, for sure. The, the thing is, Sita obviously didn't know that Mr. Yo is so far behind in terms of cast stage timing. Mm -hmm. So, if you don't have, have that information, then you don't want to take that risk, but we see that and be like, yeah, let's drop it. That would be amazing, and it would have been the play, for sure. And it's Yo going for a castle instead. <clears throat> he loves lighting. And then he can make... Oh, Lightus, they're the most broken unit in the game, in my opinion. I've, I've, I cost Leo and then Lightus, in my opinion. Yeah, they're so stupid. If it like, crazy. I, I say it every time, like, people would realize it more if Lithuanians didn't have a million other good options they could go for. <laughs> yeah. Yep, <laughs> you know? Yep. If that was their only unit and they just YOLO FC'd into a castle every game, people would be complaining about them way <laughs> more often. But here come the knights. Oh. This, is, uh, this is tough. This is ugly for Yo. This is so much damage he's taking, and he cannot afford taking so much damage. Yeah, I think Yo is just in a devastating position right now. Mm -hmm. oh, Even losing God. the skirms to fire ships, but he's just trying to buy himself yeah. enough time. Castle's still only at 80%. 36 exactly. villagers against 50, and Persian TCs producing yep. vills. Exactly. So they're going to be faster. And Sito has such a beautiful economy right now. Like, I think Mr. Yo has to uh, all in. He has to play one night, uh, one TC all in. And Sato is actually grabbing relics here too, so I like it. Yeah. yeah. Settling the game down, right? He's getting his scouting information in. If we look at uh, what he's explored, he's got vision on all these extra stones and mills and or mill positions and everything. So, yeah, things are looking up. For sure. Lightest Lightest finds... are strong though. They are strong. Yeah, I'm just fear for Mister. He doesn't really have the economy. To back up his play like yeah he will be able to get lighties out for sure but there are going to be a lot of monks and camels will hit the fray <clears throat> very soon as well and in the meanwhile his economy is just going to explode heavily camels coming to the back here for sato can he spot this stuff here from yo no he's just getting some more exploration and he <laughs> oh man he pivots at the last second that was a close one Look yeah, at this but scouting. But he's going to find it with the scout at the back. It's so good, man. It's so good. Camel's also pay, um, passing the monk with the relic. So Mr. O will be able to get one relic in. And that is just so valuable because you get the plus one extra attack then on your lighties. 
Does he miss the mill again? Oh, he sees it. He sees the mill, yeah. He doesn't see the villagers, though. And Monsieur conversion, let's go. 39 villagers against 62. This looks so good for Sato right now. Hallelujah. I mean, yes, four of them, or never mind. Fishing uh, boats are all going down against this aggro lighty. Uh, this is... Yikes. And the scout in the south is actually doing some good raids here against the villagers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo might notice that soon. He's only killed one villager so far. Still mm -hmm. massing his latest. The fishing ships don't really matter all that much because you don't really want to go for fish traps here anyway. It's yeah. too exposed, right? Too exposed, it's a big yeah, investment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at how many monks Sito has so, so many acquired already. This, it's just scary. Like, you can never save that tower. No chance. Yeah, Yo's play is massing enough latest and then taking a massive fight, winning convincingly and snowballing. But yeah. I think Sito is keeping up unit production here to deal with him quite well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, The monks are the biggest threat. Lightest will beat camels, I believe, in equal numbers. Or it's close, anyway. It's just the I monks. I think they beat them even, right? Like, I, I yeah. mean, Lightis beat the camels, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. The damage output is just so insane. It's, it's 13 attack, base attack, right? And yeah, ignores armor. <laughs> ignores armor is just absolutely insane. And yeah, economy is just growing further and further uh, for Sita. And uh, Mr. Yo, he has a second TC alive now. Matches the number. Of Sito, but Sito is placing his third TC now. It's just like feels like Sito is two, three steps ahead here, and Mr. Yo doesn't really find the answers. He's massing the Lydies, yes, but he will try yeah. to find a lot of damage with Ooh, those. If he gets in on those farms at the north, there yeah, there might be a lot of damage to be found. Sito should see this coming though, and he's already looping the monks around. Yeah, that's a huge benefit of having a dock in the middle. Just grants you so much vision. And now the camels, instead of uh, defending, they're there for the raids and not the best raiding unit. Not yeah. at all. Sato should be like walling in the north here. It just allocate one yeah. villager to wall. Yeah. It'll buy you some time. It won't stop the lightest, but it'll buy you time to bring your camels back or wall behind it or whatever. He does have the monks at the front here, but if these things ever run to the north, it's it just seems very avoidable. Yeah. And there's a monk, very there aggressive. There we go, he's yeah, well, He's balling, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice quick okay, walls. Husbandry is in for Mr. Yo. And, oh, he could attack the house, never mind. He could have he easily could've. attacked the house there. He's gonna oh, get in anyway. Oh god. Oh god, so many oh, conversions. God. Oh no, that's one. That's two. That's three. It's a that lot was... of dead monks. That was that was great for uh, Sato. Like, yeah, overall, mm -hmm. I think he lost more. However, he can afford it. Yep. He can afford it absolutely. He was at fifty-one villagers. Like, he can't he can't replace these units. No chance. And Sato at eighty-three right now. Like, his economy is just so much better right now. And demo. So if you're oh, demo. A nice demo. Killing the ladies here as well. <laughs> Love to see it. <clears throat> Absolutely love to see it. Hmm. Mr. Yo going to get his third relic in. And it's not like his economy is, you know, like not growing as well. Like it's growing slower than Sitos, but it's growing. And he has Sitos the power actually, unit. He's selling stone right now to get gold. And he's queuing up some more knights and some monks here. I think a forward castle needs to come on this stone and this gold. He doesn't see the see. TC there, but the villagers are coming forward. He does see the resources. And he has vision at the back with the camels that have been raiding this whole time. So he knows that, yo, if he's going to extend, he's going to go forward there. And he actually castles the first gold from yo, not the second one. Interesting. I, I don't like it. <clears throat> yeah, I think it should be more forward. He saw the yeah. TC. He could have easily done that. And that, that uh, castle is not as fiercey as it could be, right? Mm hmm He will have enough stone for another one soon. That's true. So he will drop like a, a lot of castles. Stone. Yeah, he yeah. will drop a lot of castles. And now, 
Quick balls on the top. Nice reaction here by Sitar. Because if Great those stuff. if those lighties would have come in, that would have been still uh, a hole. Oh. There's still a hole in the north. Neither There's player knows it. Oh, true, yeah. Third castle. As you predicted, Dave. And Yo goes for a castle of his own, but there's a monk here. There's a monk here from Sato, and the golds are in an inconvenient position here for Yo. Villagers are going to have to really spread out to find areas to hit this castle. Yeah. And this castle's like, this is getting denied, right? I think both castles go up, but uh, Mr. Yo will lose a lot of villagers in the process. Oh boy. This is not healthy, is it? Oh, this is it, not healthy at all. It's not healthy Probably. at all. And it's getting denied. Yeah, it's getting denied. Do you even bother going for petards here if you're Sato? Do you care about that castle, really? Oh, I would, yeah. Just to ensure getting that castle down. I don't but you can, instead of using food and gold on that, you can go for Trebs. Or you can go for Imp and then angle towards Trebs instead. I think that's also what Sato is planning. Look at his resources, yeah. He goes up to village yeah. now. Even and his food just... economy is just so much better than Yo's. Like, he's not even using yeah. part of the farms that he's placed here. He's got 40 placed farms. Yeah. Yo has gotten things kind of under control. He's got 31, but the gold is under pressure. Those farms at the front are under pressure, and he's forced into a more defensive TC. Yeah. And now Sato goes for petards, now that he's already up. Oh, boy. Elephants, man. We need elephants. You were asking for them since Sita was in mid feudal age and Just he one. has not provided. He has not provided. Okay. This castle might not be the best idea in the world. It is. I like the idea, but I don't think it's going to go up, Dave. Very unlikely. And these yeah, lighties, and... they have 16 damage now, I think. No, 17. Yep. Look at how the camels bye. die. Bye bye, camels. Bye bye, knights. See ya. Bye. 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 Look at that. Like, uh, you don't want to fight against these. Just don't want. Okay. Imperial Age is 40 seconds away. Yo is still just producing lettuce. Mm. But now enough camels yeah. are joining the fray. And yeah, enough knights yeah. tanking the damage. Yeah. And this game's over. Yeah, this again shows that economy usually beats the strong unit in general, except in situations. But Well, especially when you're down by like 15 villagers when you get to Castle Age. That is obviously a big impact. The that, was, that was good from Sato, though. To... For sure. Get up the time he did, um, basically win the water convincingly, mm -hmm. and then recover his food eco yep. the way he did. Because you kept mentioning it, like he had four on food at one point. Yo had 12 on food because he went out for the mills earlier. But Sato didn't take any further damage and got his farms down, went out for the berries himself, made extra fishing ships, and then suddenly it was just like he was way ahead. Way, way ahead yep. of Yo. It's crazy. Beautiful performance there by Sato. You're into the game, right? <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, I'm just making sure. You know, I didn't want to start talking about it first. We yeah, got no, I'll get, I'll get. surf and turf, so we do indeed have both surf and we have turf. We also have water hills, and yes, ships get the bonus damage from the hill. Um, Yo is playing as Chinese. Sato is playing as Dravidians. You can see Yo already with a villager advantage here, and it's only going to get greater when Sato gets loom. Yo actually doesn't... What? Yo doesn't have Loom right now? Does not? Yeah, he doesn't. What? What was he doing at the start then? <laughs> I don't he know. Was just, he was just chilling. Bro, he's just chilling at the start. He's not getting Loom at all. Maybe maybe he's thinking I'm, it's not worth it I against the I went back in time. Man. Maybe he's Wait. thinking, right? He's like, okay, there's only a Spearman out. I don't mind a Spearman. Doesn't what? do shit anyway. He literally killed a villager from Valesa with his spearman the last time he played this map. At the start, he killed the dog villager with a spearman. <laughs> he must know about the loom. That's for sure. I'm I'm curious, like, 
Yo doesn't have a dog out yet. Well, Sato, mm. super fast, so... I'm not sure if it's worth it with Chinese to play like that. It's just... <sighs> Last time Yo went for... So basically this was his strategy. He went for forward barracks, and then he docked not in the middle, he docked on the side. Which ah. he's doing right now. Ah. And so he didn't... I think he... I believe he went for like one fishing ship or something, but it was just for a faster up into water pressure. Okay. And it was water pressure that his opponent didn't expect. As okay. he's now pressuring the villager with a spearman. And I still don't know why you don't get loom with Chinese. I, I, uh, yeah, it doesn't make sense. I, I, I don't get it. Does the villager die here? No, I think not, right? It does. It's dead. Oh, it dies. Oh my god. Maybe a palisade wall there from Sato could have saved it. Oh. Just to delay a little bit, but... That that definitely hurts a lot. Sure. Mm -hmm. And now Loom is finally coming in. And he has enough food to go up village. Beautiful timing. Yep. And he's going to open... What is he open here? Fire galley, probably. He's looking for fish with that fishing ship. Yeah. <laughs> and Yo finally finds them. Quite a ways away. Sato is not going to know about this dock, and he knows that Yo hasn't docked the center area there. He's exploring yeah. right now. He's expecting to see, like, a barracks or something. Mm -hmm. Doesn't spot any of that. That's a huge advantage of Mr. Yo. He obviously sees the dock of uh, Sato, and mm -hmm. Sato on the other side, he has no idea. Like, the spearman oh. is going around, and he will see the mill. So, yep. upon seeing the mill, you might be thinking, hey, my opponent just hasn't docked. But Yo just made that mill. I also like the fact that Yo with his spearman is killing deer at the back. Sato is saying, good idea. Yeah. Yes. And he kills the deer now from Yo, or tries exactly. to. <laughs> but Yo shoots them first. I and now that, Yo is like... coming forward with Vils. Okay, so it's same yeah. strategy yeah. as against Valesa. And what, what is Sato doing? Found. Is Sato is he's not, not going to see it. No, he's not. He will... He's going to miss it by one tile. Oh, he will not see it. <gasps> oh, he's serious. He sees it. He sees, he sees it, it, but does he notice it? Does he notice it? That blue is kind of blending so. in with the water. I don't think he sees it. No, he doesn't. Or is it a conscious decision by him? I'm not sure. Mm. Imagine Mr. Yo going for demo and blows up those. That, I was shit, bro. I was just about to say it because the militia are gonna hang around to try and kill the fish. So yeah. you'd have enough time to get the demo out. Yeah. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Sato is just... <laughs> Guess not. He's just going in. I was but wrong. You can't bait him with the fishing ship, I suppose. Mr. Yo sees it right away and quick bolts. So mm -hmm. he will be able to buy himself time. But but there's no there's no villagers in the TC. Oh. But Sato doesn't know that. Yeah, the idea of the TC is too threatening. He d he's not yeah. going to go in. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, God. <laughs> We need a lot of quick balls here. <laughs> it's so dumb. And now the village is going forward by Mr. Yo. This yeah. game can turn around immediately. Like, village fight going on. The men at arms, what do you do with them? I, I guess you send them back at home. But that feels like a wrong mis a wrong thing to no, do. No, you go, you go, you try and go under the TC. You saw only one arrow there. You try and sneak. There's more than enough room to go around. Oh, you got God. the spearman there. You see the opening. You oh, go right oh, under oh, the oh, TC. Oh, oh, oh. He will try to... Yeah, he will. Here he, he will comes. Do. There's no Vils in that TC. Only four. Yeah. The men-at-arms get through with a decent amount of health while he's fighting on the other side. And he's got... He added an additional um, men-at-arms back at home. And he's got a archer there, too. So Yo is going to have to run away. Oh. Okay, this is disastrous for Yo soon if this Sato is. keeps getting damage. This is, yeah. Spearman kills the villager. But the men-at-arms are going to be cleaned up now. Oh, uh, this is this is messy, Dave. This is super, super messy. Super messy. How's the water looking like? Yeah, they're trading off. Shared. The, yeah. Shared. Yeah. In the fire galley, supporting those villagers. There's a fire galley coming up from the other side, but Sato has nothing to repair his with, so he doesn't want to fight that. Oh. He backs away with his land army. God, look at that. 30 food on that bad boy fishing boat. 30 food. That's... that's oh, yeah. Dravidian fish carry more. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, that Everyone's got very... something, right? Bengali's heal, Gajara's garrison, Dravidian's carry more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty fun that everyone has uh, a little bit of a uh, special thing to it. Overall, is this they... the only map where mm -hmm. you could justify going to Tars on water? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. That would be a lovely thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, I love what Mysterio is doing here. He's actually mm -hmm. saving that fire galley. That is so clutch. That is so clutch. He positioned that one fire galley in front of the shot one, and therefore he managed to save it. I love it. Sato is coming in with more archers. There's plenty of villagers under this TC now. <laughs> you don't want to do he that again. Might be able to, he might be able to sneak in if he's if he knows Yo is distracted somewhere else. But you gotta like see that Yo is distracted to sneak in. Oh, Mr. Yo not reacting! He isn't reacting, really? Dave, he didn't react. He did not react to that. What? How? Dave, how can you not react to that? Is it a moment as a player you think like there's no way Someone would be so dumb to go through the TC that you don't even look at it. I, I'm speechless. I, I'm speechless. How? Oh, I think... I think that's something I have to include into my game play as well. I really think so. Just... <laughs> no! Sito not yo, yeah, yeah. No shit's given. <laughs> He's just going through that. I, he doesn't care. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Absolutely crazy. I'm not muted, guys. I see it on Discord. Oh boy. My Discord dead? I don't think so. Must be Sato uh Dave's. Right. Okay, how is the situation now? Yeah, cast agent coming for Sato. He lost water, but he has such a huge timing advantage over Mr. Yo here. Maybe it's a general Discord thing. Yeah, that could be. We'll just have to continue casting uh, by ourselves then, I, I guess. Ooh, this is this is so rough for Mr. Yo. Dave cannot hear me, I cannot hear him, yeah. Oh god, how- like, this lost him the game. This lost him the game, but like, stuff like that is not supposed to work. Not supposed to work. Let me close this code real quick, guys. That's brutal. Eight. Now I can finally hear you again. Four. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, nice. I don't know what happened. What happened? I have no idea. Discord just like went down because neither of us could hear each other. Yeah, it looked like that. Matt, Dave, have you like? Wow. I'm. I'm it's, still. It's... Flabbergasted by that move. What, going in with the archers early? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Especially when he knew that Yo wasn't, like, intensely microing anywhere else. There was exactly. no other battles. Sometimes yeah. you can justify it. If you see him moving at one archer around, sniping your bills, then you're like, sure, I'll go in. 
Yeah. He's busy. Exactly. But uh, nothing was happening, and Yo just didn't notice. I also love the fact that uh, Yo is taking, like, hints from Sato, right? Like, Yo kill, or no, Yo was killing the deer earlier, so Sato tries to kill the deer. Sato walls up this little water area, so Yo walls up now. Yeah. <laughs> they're yeah. like, they're kind of copying each other. Yeah. It's just also showing how important it is to be adaptive in mm -hmm. uh, in this game. Oh boy, there is a fire galley or fire ship in this area. That's pretty annoying as well for Mr. Owen itself. It's part. very annoying. Ay -ay -ay. He can Ay -ay. deal with it with his fire galley if he notices it, but two fishing ships have already gone down. His villagers will be chased away. And now there's more fire ships on the way, and the archers on his gold are what are keeping him busy right now as he loses another villager. This is so painful Two archers to watch. taking out two vills. Oh. So messy. Usually, yeah. Yo does really well in the messy games, but right now, Sato is kind of... Mm. He has the advantage. Yeah. I mean, Sato has the two docks here in the north side. I don't think they will provide too much here. And overall economy situation, 37 to 41. Like, Mr. Yo is still in this. He definitely is in this. But obviously, Sito has a huge lead here. Two TCs already. Mm -hmm. Nice farming economy. I just look at the food count or food food economy by Mr. Yo. And he has zero on food right now. So, um, I'm a little bit worried for him. Yeah, I think Sito needs a monastery. I think he needs a monastery. It can help against the fires, and it can also help against any knights coming in. And the knights are about to come in here from Yo. That's a unit that Sato just can't go for with Dravidians, which kind of exactly. limits his options yep. on a map like this, right? Yeah, yeah. Because mobility is so important on this map. Of course, well, just water... Like... Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Water is obviously very important on this map as well, where Dravidians really yeah. shine, but... Uh, you you want to have a mix of uh, mobility and water strength. I think it's also like high value units that can do damage just by themselves. Yeah. And Dravidians don't really have access to any of those. The key one being the knight. Exactly. No, they don't. They don't have anything in that regard. Like usually, what we see from them is heavy crossbow. That's mm -hmm. where they excel in. But uh, they don't have that power unit, right? And now there's a lot of fishing boats here, but they're kind of exposed here against those knights. They have to go to the center. Well, they go through the gate and the knights can't follow mm. if they don't open it. There we go. And the knights definitely can't swim. <laughs> so he should be fine. <laughs> he cannot swim, I heard. Um, 2TC is still for Sita. On the other side, 3TC being dropped by Mr. Yo. Like, yes, Sita has a huge advantage in my opinion. However... You know, Sita is, or Mr. Yo is in this game. And I think this will be a bit of a longer game by the looks of it. Yep. There's the Monastery and Pikeman from Sato. He's still trying to fish over there on the right. Just fish in the middle. Just fish in the middle, bro. He fished in the middle and was scared of the fire galley. That's why he went to the right hand side again. And Mr. Yo, look at that. Like, he is so annoying with that fire galley. Just trying to snipe those fishing boats. He actually managed to get that final one too. Yikes. Yep. And he's wow. going for a siege workshop here too. Mm -hmm. Yo is going to start pushing with Mangonels. Yep. We got monks already coming out, but the skirmishers are there to snipe the monks if they go for the conversions on the knights. Yep. And what I love about... Now Miss Yo sees the, the pikemen under the TC. Hallelujah. Uh, what I love about... Sato, though, is the fact that he has pikes prepared already. Mm -hmm. So he will have a good time to to counter what is uh, incoming. Because it's not like Mr. O is going to invest so, so much into the aggression as well. I like the fact he's going to stone now, too. That gives him another option to defend in a little bit. Yep. Uh, sure. Maybe he could have made the argument he should have gone there earlier. But he does have gold in the bank if he wants to buy himself some stone yep. to help defend. And now the monk is out and looking for knights. I think Sito is panicking a little bit, isn't he? Like Cage Workshop goes to stone, also has many monks, has lots of pikemen. Yep. And nice shot here by the mangonel and the knight is in. 
But yeah, there are too many pikes, also monks. Like, there's not too much Monsieur can do here. I think his focus should be try to annoy him in the front a little bit, and the meanwhile mm -hmm. go for water. And Sato Maybe? actually scouts that. What is going on? Such a beautiful scout by him. Yeah, sees the dock. Maybe Sato should be thinking about extending to that northern area. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Because south side for You're sure very not. limited on gold. Yep. Very, very limited on gold. You can't go to the south. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, Yo's got all his stuff over there, right? Exactly. And you can kind of control the knights running around or the siege moving up north uh, via your fire ships through this area and your docks as he takes out the knights with the pikeman great engagement there now he's free to go to the north if he wants to oh that was hurtful yeah he's also about to break in on the left side with his fires mm -hmm. as yo is forced to go for a castle in his own base to defend also he killed two mangonels without losing one himself so you know, the, the aggression has been completely defended. Very nice uh, reactions here by Sito. And now it's all about getting better economy, going up to Imperilage and take control of the water. Mm -hmm. Once you, uh, it, this might be a situation where we see Thurisidae. They seem like they would be really powerful in this map. Oh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Like, I would normally say the Dravidian tech tree is ass, so if you ever get late game, <laughs> <laughs> it's not good, but, like, with yeah. water involved, you suddenly have some options. Yeah. And that's why Dravidians was the pick of Sito here. Now, we had some mangonels dancing all around. Uh, this time, Miss Yo managed to get the better piece out of it. But uh, overall, his economy is just not there for Mr. Yo. It just feels like Sito's economy is better there. Uh, we'll borrow in for both players now. Uh, Boso in for Yo. We don't have that for Sito. And Sito actually going for supplies. Don't kill and your pikes. Swords. Don't kill your pikes, bro. Don't kill your pikes. Don't kill your pikes. Don't kill all your pikes. Sito, don't kill all your pikes. Thank you. <laughs> there we see long swords. Long swords by Sito. I don't like that move. I don't like it either. I don't understand it at all. I don't like it. It's and I Why? don't understand it as well. Yeah. Doesn't... Like what? What possible need could you have for long swords? Mm. Unless you feel like you're so far ahead that you just need a unit to overwhelm your point. I I don't. Know. Yeah. It's a very questionable decision for sure. Adding another barrack here, like he wants to heavily commit onto long swords, and the problem with long sword is that it delays your imp timing as well. He doesn't know about the castle. So that's the big issue for Sito right now. Adding more barracks over there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's the food eco looking like for Yo? We got 32 place farms. For Sito, we have 24. 24. Yeah. Oh, nice micro here by Sito. Oh, that, <laughs> dude, that demo almost went towards those pikemen in the north. It's coming towards the middle, however. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, he's finding himself some good demos. Yeah. Huh. What's the situation like? It feels like economy-wise, Mr. Yo and all of a sudden is in a much better position and he's very close to going in Pearl Age. And it's oh, like, there's why are you going longsword? Why on earth are you going yeah. longswords? Yeah. I don't understand. And like longswords versus demos, they don't do very well either. Oh, oh God. Oh. How do pikemen do against demos, Dave? <laughs> Oh, why would you Yo do goes that? for a castle. This might actually this might actually work out in Sato's favor if Yo actually starts building this castle. He's not though, it's just a foundation for yeah. now. Yeah. You should play the castle. Yo. You need on more demos. Left side. Yeah, and Imprilation coming on the way. Yep. Imprilation coming here. He's already got a castle to defend. You can put it on that hill there. Exactly. And you defend against all of this aggression because you know he's basically like hard committing castle age if you see long swords. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and the demo. The demo. Like, it's just like, what is the plan here with long swords? I don't understand. Dave, can you explain what went through his mind, please? No! But I won't understand it because I don't understand it. I don't understand it either. I mean, maybe he was thinking, what is the coolest thing that I could do? 
that <laughs> if I won with it, if I won with it, it would be super amazing. Yeah. It'd be awesome. They talk about it for years. <laughs> and he came up with longsword. <laughs> Uh, it's it's just looking desperate right now. He was in the winning position. Oh, oh there's the another ammo coming out. Oh, but look at the mass repair. <laughs> uh. No! Oh, the you were in such a good position. Oh, maybe he can oh, oh, deny oh, the no. castle with the oh, devil, oh, please! Oh, yes! Big oh, devil! Oh. So many villagers go down. If Dude, if he had taken out the foundation with that same demo, that would have been yeah. amazing. Yeah. Oh, God. There were like 10 villages dying to that demo hit right there. Yo, we should get heavy demo right away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Heavy, instant, instant heavy demo. Chinese demolition ships. Look you, at the uh, HP you. on these suckers. <laughs> 90 HP. Versus 60, Jordan. That's, you know what's that called? That's just called domination. Absolute mm -hmm. domination. Demination. <laughs> demination. I like that man. You're you're creative. Mm -hmm. I, I really have to uh command. I on think that. I'm just insane. I think I'm a little insane. Yeah, you are. Yeah. You're positive insane. Oh, Ooh, yeah, the yeah. demo's waiting for the long swords to come in again. It's good that it has so much HP, right? How did that one He survived? How? He's gonna have survivor's guilt regardless. Dude, he's just gonna go to the corner of the map and look into the darkness and remember his friends. <laughs> Very sad. Uh, yeah, Dave, how, how would you assess the situation right now? Uh, it kind of looks I like would Mr. say Hill that uh, Sato strong, did a... Sato clutched defeat from the jaws of victory. That's how we would say. <laughs> oh, and now he's trying to fight off Chukanus with a uh, single... Longsword man. Yep. I mean, Zita is up to in privilege now. And let's not forget. There is a die. There is a die. They're amazing. There they yes. are. And Zita with Dravidians has access to Bomber Cans, which sounds very handy as well. So, there are things going for him as well. But mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Yo, his economy is just looking very, very good. Hand card, heavy plow. That's uh, something Sito is missing right now. And when these come out of the field, if you haven't seen them before, I don't want you to be alarmed by the fact they take up half the map with their unit sprite. These oh. things are massive. They are massive, man. And the big thing is they don't need any elite upgrade on them. They're just they don't, coming and out and they're they amazing. They just don't die. They just they don't, don't die. No, they, That's like, the thing. They don't kill anything particularly quick. But like the entire navy from Yo is targeting this one ship and it's only just now dying. It, it feels like an elephant archer on water, right? Yeah. Do you ever watch Star Wars? No. Oh, okay, never mind. You, oh, I, I forget. You're like Tristan. You don't have any pop culture references. Oh, is, is, is Tristan like that as well? Oh, yeah. Ah. Man, uh, that's something I can talk to him about. Mm -hmm. that, that's about no, you can't talk to anything. Him about anything because he, he doesn't oh. know. Oh no, oh. the castle gets denied by one trip shot. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's disastrous. Heavy demo from Mr. Yo. Heavy demos coming in. Maybe that's a solution to the threat. Maybe. Oh, Chinese demos though. More HP. More HP. They can get close. More HP. I think we have to count to theories of die. We, we found the only. The only use of the extra HP for Chinese demos in the no. game, and we found it. We found I, it. I want to see the, uh, the demos now exploding on the theories that die. Come on. Come on. It has 105 HP. Dave, that's Yeah, you it's have got to a respect. lot of HP. It's yeah. tanky. Let's, let's take a look. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, look, it's running away. Bro, it survives forever. Yeah, it, it took on, 10 yo. shots, and it still has oh, two thirds of its HP. Dude, Yo's building up for big shots. He also has oh, stables yeah. in the south. He's oh, going to yeah. start raiding in here. Oh, yeah, mama. Let's go. I'm not your mom, okay? <laughs> I'm definitely <laughs> not your dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
There come the demos. Was... Here it comes. We're about to have a moment here. They're all stacked I, up I together. Want, I, I want to see that. I want to see that. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. They're just sitting. <laughs> they, don't know, they don't know anything. Do something! They're Do not doing something! Anything. What did we pay them for? Do something! They're not doing anything. They're chilling. They're dancing away from the arrows. They're tanking damage. They never die. They are like siege rams. No! Oh, all against no. this one ship. No! Oh, God. Oh, my God. That's disastrous, man. Uh, castle in the north here from Yo, and Sato just didn't expand out there fast enough and didn't get castles or anything. TC is nothing. So all those villagers, those 47 villagers up there, exposed. There's one castle there, though. He's castle? placing right now. So. Could be the saver. I mean, Sita is climbing on the on the score. Well, I mean, a lot of that is the ships, I feel like, right? Yeah. Very expensive units. Yeah. Now a lot of light calves coming in. Will they stop the castle from going up? It doesn't look like mm, that, right? No, no, I don't no. Think so, not gonna happen. But they're gonna be able to kill quite a few vills behind this, oh, and they even sure. get the monk. And yep. oh, jeez, just oh. look at that gold. Twenty-two vills on that gold. Oh boy. Yikes. And now Yo is going for more stables up there. He knows. He knows what he needs to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, Thurisidai coming in. Can't get past that demo in the castle. <laughs> no chance. Oh, please. Demo. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Go, Demo. Go. Go, Demo. Why is it go. not doing anything? Move. It's moving. It survived a full volley. <laughs> it's moving. Champion. Oh. From Sato. Yeah. Oh, man. This Sato is, is going to be out of wood in his main base soon. Yeah, very soon, yeah. So he, he, needs these, he needs these options. Yeah. To the north and to the west, but Yo is cutting all of them off. I they the only thing I'm asking for is just a nice demo shot. That's it. Well, you might we might get one here. Sato is clumping up against this please, doctrine. Please, 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 do it. Please. Demo it. Please. Yes. They're please. all stacked, bro. Yes, this is the best go. stack you can ever let's ask go. for. Let's go. Yes. Kill it. Boom. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Yes. That was a lot of damage. He's gonna get another one too. Yes. Actually, Mr. Yo, he didn't even go for the, the the attack there. The demo was just killed. Another one, another one. The Chi Chinese demo oh. survives there. No other demo would survive there. They would have died. They would have died. <laughs> and you crashes the the demo HP Bro, for China. We, I found the only instance in like 20 years of playing this game where Chinese <laughs> demo HP is actually coming in clutch. <laughs> Oh, look at this! Bam! <laughs> Who would have known? <laughs> I didn't expect it for sure. One or six. Oh, Sato is out of stone again to repair yeah. the castle. Oh, yikes! One or sixty population against one or forty. But <laughs> demo, look. demo, 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 demo. So you see the the the, the, the champion? Fuck! Oh, only light caps there, right? I know. There's two demos though, and the and the champions are still there. Yo just needs to notice it. He's obviously paying attention to the more important area, which is the castle, yeah. and not the water battle. Yeah. But still, he has opportunities to demo this stuff. I just want to see one big Chinese demo. Yeah. We will not see Dave. Nope. We, we saw a few. I mean, we saw a few ones against the pikemen and the longswords and whatnot. So it's not yeah. the worst thing, right? Yeah. And the, mean, and the the demo against the Thurisidae probably did like 600 damage. Yeah, but no so, one died, right? Like nothing died. Mm, but yeah. it's still like I, I think we were we were okay with the explosions we saw, right? Yeah. Well, Mr. Yeah. Yo winning. I think it's the first time he wins in this season, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, second time, isn't it? He won number two, didn't he? If you know that better than me, then that's disastrous. Let me quickly check. Uh, no, he won Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, the round four. Number four. So last week time, two, yeah, weeks, two ago. weeks ago. Nice.
Nice, nice, nice. Oh, man, Dave. That was that was fun again. And that I was can't... the last ah. episode before we will go into the final stage, which is then going to be two days. Four what is months. the then, oh, when is no the idea. final stage? I have no idea. Ideally before <laughs> NAC, but I don't think that's going to happen. That's not possible. That's like a week. You have yeah, a week. It's like, yeah, yeah. There's there's no chance. I will have to yeah. get in touch with the players. You'll have to do it after NAC, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think so.